and I'm part of the Microsoft Power App Program Cohort 9. Our last and final app challenge is about Soul Style being a boutique shoe company specializing in high-end footwear and the company aims to have an efficient way of tracking their shoe products, managing staff levels, and providing seamless shopping experience for customers. They want to streamline their inventory management process, so you'll be building up the Power Platform using Power Apps, Power Automate, Canvas App, Model Driven App, Power Virtual Agents. Um, I've built this app. It's a Canvas app. So one of the requirements is for customers to browse, search, and filter for products available in the boutiques. In here, I've used a tab list so that you can filter the different categories, like for example, athletics, boots, canvas, dress shoes, flats, flip-flops, heels, and so on. Um, so you will see that the shoes are being filtered as well as by color. So if I filter black, for example, all the different um, shoes with color black, different categories are shown in here. Um, same with all the other colors and just doing it one by one in here, all the brown, gold, green, gray, red, tan, white, silver, and green. So as you can see, the different colors are being filtered. And if I um, remove the filters in here, it will again show everything. So that's one of the things that are featured in here. Uh, on each of the item, the product name, size, size, color, as well as the number of stocks. Uh, and you have the option to add it to a cart, option to choose how many in quantity you want to order. Um, and there is a shopping cart in here and the number of items that you want you have clicked to add to cart. Um, also, I have a chat button in here. So when you click on the chat button, um, I configured two options here, one for the co-pilot, one from a chat bot that I have configured. So as an example here, let's do the chat bot first. As an example, um, if I want to ask the store location and I'll type where are your locations and it will be um, showing the different locations in here. And if I choose Toronto, for example, it will give you the address of Toronto. Another option in here is, um, can I help you with anything else? Sure, yes. Another option here is for shoe ordering. Um, I want to order shoes. And it will ask where do I want um, it to be shipped. So I'll say, for example, again, Toronto. And it will ask for the different categories uh, for which I'm interested with. For example, sneakers. What color of sneakers do you prefer? White. And it will say I will be preparing to present your chosen white sneakers. Um, and then to complete the order, go to cart. So um, another option that I have in here is, so yeah, if, if the chatbot cannot answer, it will be escalating it to the live agent. So I'll close this one and then we'll try the copilot as well. In the copilot, um, I will ask um, list all the black collar shoes, for example. So it lists the dress formal leather shoes, the dress shoes black that, co that cost $130, size and weight. And then there is a link here for the picture. Let's type in dress shoes. Do you have dress shoes? So there is formal dress shoes and formal leather shoes. Anyway, that's the chatbot um, using Copilot as well. So if when I order, for example, comfortable sneakers, I'll add it to the cart and it will show that one in there. And I'll add another stylish, stylish heels in here and it will add that as well. And then I'll choose the cart here and it will show the different um, items that I've added to my cart. It shows how much quantity on stack will be remaining after um, I add it um, to the cart. So if I choose to have two for this, it will also subtract it from the original um, stock. So if I do add another two in here, so that one was 30 items earlier and now it's 28. So as an example here, also when, um, just to show that again, so the amount is $120 and if I choose two, it will multiply by two. And then same with this one, 180. If I choose two, that will be 360. If I choose three, that will be 540. I just do, for example, in here. And then here, um, 
also customer one and the address will be in for example then I'll place the order with the tax rate is 7% shipping is 499 with a total of 649 so when I place the order it will go back to um, the main screen here and it will refresh also the stock um, later on when we so there is a power automate that will update the stock the inventory here I chose SharePoint and so it will be added to my cart so that is this two order number 128 um, that is identified here so it updated and now um, the shopping cart orders is also going to be updated. So that's the 128 order ID. This customer one, shipping address Calgary, the order amount is 600, shipping and tax, and the total grand total of 646.99. Um, so this is the shopping cart orders. And then we have the shoe inventory table that is a dataverse table. So if I refresh that and go to the sole inventory solution, and I'll go to the tables and go to shoe inventory in here you will see that uh, the quantity of stock will be updated as well. So now I only have 28 number of stocks and then the other one is the comfortable sneakers and we now have 48 as the number of stocks. So if I go back in here and refresh this one, it will now show 48 and 28 in here. Okay, um, so that's the shoe inventory. And then um, I also have the active shoe inventory. This is the um, model driven app where the store staff and the manager can update the, stock, the, the items, the list of products, as well as the different categories in here and the quantity. Um, so this is a table and we'll just, for example, this was now 28 and I want to add more into it. For example, I want to bring it back to 30. So I'll go there and I'll do a save and close. And so it saves the inventory. Yes, it's the same table in there. So when the inventory is updated, it will also send out an email to the staff manager or the, the manager. So we're just gonna wait for that email to come in. There you go. And it will say uh, the following were updated, the stylish heels, 002, heels 002, and the new stock quantity is 30, and the original stock quantity was 28. So I will update as well the um, sneakers, the comfortable sneakers. I want to this, this to be back to 50, and I'll just do that and save and close. So once that's updated, um, there is a power automate that will trigger, and it will update, and it will send out an email. Um, go send out that email and it is the sneakers it's back to 50 as a new stock the original stock quantity was 48 after a, a customer has ordered um, and then there is that power bi that i've created as well um, so it shows us the quantity of stock as well as the categories in here and then the different product names with their target stock and the quantity on hand right now um, i've also added here the number of orders so there were seven and six orders earlier and now um I should bring the Power BI directly and so now you can see that there's eight and seven um, orders. I'll publish that. Okay, it succeeded. Let me see if this one will refresh then. So now it's eight and seven in here. Um, so there are two chatbots that I've created as I showed you earlier, the co-pilot and the soul style bot. One, this is how I created those conditions for automate. So we have um, this power automate updates the quantity of um, stock that will be on the shoe inventory. So it's going to be updating the shoe inventory for every item that has been updated for the email that I've set up. So this is the email flow that was set up. So um, when an item is added or modified, but I chose only for added or modified, um, and looking for that shoe inventory table again and the condition is if the quantity of stock is greater than the bar quantity stock then send an email and then update update the shoe inventory as well um, so that it becomes equal so that it doesn't um, repeat itself